Hello and welcome to you know, Let's Play Me Game of 6 of Don Chorus. I guess the uh, title would be down there for you guys. On the last Let's Play, we hung with Miko and had a tender reconnecting moment. Also Bjorn and uh, the Tanuki guy was there. And then we hung with Flake, who uh, I don't also had Miko and the bat guy there. And we had a moment where he's like, hey, I thought you were kind of avoiding me before. But I was like, no, I was just busy. I'm like, okay, well, it's good, you know, hanging around with you more. Eh, uh, relationships and emotions and stuff. Anyways, time to go to the locker room. Oh, right, I almost forgot. Before we start, if you're interested in playing this game, in it, where you can get it for free, and if you want to support the people that make this game, Patreon, where you can give them some money to help continue developments. After we, after the walk, the four of us split up and each went our separate ways. Lake went with Jorgen back to their room. Miku returned to his own room as well. I spent some time in the lobby watching TV, but quickly got boring, so I'm walking around the guest house looking for anyone. Looks like there's no one here. I decided to check the locker room, see if anyone was in the swim pool or the sauna, but it doesn't look like it. Where is everyone? Mmm, just in case. Lockers are all open, but maybe I shouldn't assume that means they're all empty. I take off my shoes and walk further into the locker room. Inside one of the open lockers is a familiar hoodie, covering some other belongings. Bingo. Now there might be the bear that that belongs to be. That belong... Now where might that bear these belong to be? No, oh, it's kind of open deer. But that's fine. I don't really talk to him too much. If he's in the sauna, maybe I could join him for a quick session. Peek into the corridor, just in time to see Bjorn leave in the sauna. He's already feeling like I'm in a sauna. This was hot after dinner. Oh, dark. I'd ask if you were going to the sauna, but seeing you in those clothes, I'm guessing you're not. I wanted to check if you were inside, but I see you're already uh, done. Yeah, two 15-minute sessions are enough for me. Now I need a cold shower. Preferably a cold bucket of water, but I don't know if they have those here. Do you mind if I tag along with you? I mean, after the shower. Oh, you're not here for the sauna? Not really. I would, I'm just looking for some company. It's been oddly silent everywhere since dinner. I suppose most of the students are in their rooms. Probably would be as well. Pro I probably would be as well, if I could get into mine. Sure, but you have to wait for me for a while. You went back in the locker room. He fully dressing but shoeless. Fully dressed but shoeless. Bjorn wearing a towel around his waist. All drenched in sweat and panting loudly. Okay. You have to wait for me here, though. I might take a while to cool down. Eh, I don't have anything better to do. Except for hunting for deers. Well, your call. Bear leaves the showers and I sit down on the bench, taking out my phone checking the notifications. I sent a message to Miko a while ago. He hasn't replied yet. He's probably back in his room, working on something. We're taking a nap. I write a quick, eh, a quick text to Lake, asking if there's anything happening anywhere, and open my web browser. A few minutes pass, and Bjorn is still here, in the shower. I wonder how thick his pelt is. Can't be very thick if he's wearing a hoodie out indoors. Probably not thicker than mine. Now that I think of it, I don't think I've seen a bear up close before. We've had a, a few in town, but I've never seen any in my class. He's... Eh, not really my type, personally. He's a gold guy, but a bulky guild build is not my, is not my thing. Like, his is not my thing. It'd be nice to get to know him a bit better, but eh, we didn't talk that much today. He might be a bit of a quiet type, but something tells me we could get to, we would get along nicely. 
If I had a key to my room, maybe I could talk to him into a visit. Talking in a more private environment feels a bit more personal. Notification icon displays at the top of my screen. Information me informing me I got a new message. Like, I know, I'm with Jorgen in our room. It might go out in like 15 minutes. 15 minutes isn't that much. Maybe we could still do something together before the stargazing? Bjorn leaves a shower with a towel wrapped around his waist. Water dripping from his body. Huh, so you, so you did wait? No, oh, so you did wait. He starts to dry himself with the towel, and I turn the other way and give him some more privacy. Had any plans uh, after the sauna? Not really. I thought I'd just go to my room for a while. I don't mind company, though. Or we could pay Travis a visit. Who's Travis? Tanuki? He has some multiplayer games with him. Okay, I'm ready. I'm setting up, leaving the locker room with him. Hey, Rune? Walking down the corridor, we walk straight into the deer. Shh. Sheesh. Listen. Stand quietly, listening in. Do I hear a piano? Definitely. It sounds like an acoustic one. I had no idea there was one here. That's neat. Oh yeah, there was one in the common room. <coughs> Sorry, my throat's kind of getting a little bit hoarse. I had to actually kind of restart a bit. Because yeah, I needed a little bit of tea. I wonder who's playing it. Oh, one way to find out. Only one way to find out. Are you two coming with me? Sure, I... Sure, live music is definitely a treat. Dark? Sure, I like the idea. And I might have an idea who's sitting behind the piano. The teacher! As you walk towards the common room, Rune leading the way, the music gets louder. I don't know that song, but playing with the plain style reminds me of a certain wolf I know. Woof. Walking in the commonplace space, I see it is indeed Miku, sitting behind the piano. He notices us entering the room, stops playing, turning in our direction. Why'd you stop playing? Hey. Oh, hello there. I had no idea you play the piano too, Miku. That's right, he said he played the piano and was quite good at it. I remember set staying with him after classes, listening to him play on the piano, school piano, back when we were in middle school. Knowing a way around the piano keyboard helps a lot with composing. I actually started with the piano, and switched to electronic instruments later. We heard someone playing the piano in here, came to listen. I hope you don't mind an audience. I don't, although I don't expect to... Although, don't expect too much from me. I haven't played the real acoustic thing in, for a long time. Just the keyboard with such affection that for a moment, I can't help but feel jealous. You wish that keyboard was you? It was playing with your teeth? Um, so, would you like me to play something? Play Wonderwall! Sure. Hmm, maybe this one? Miku turns towards the piano and lifts both his cannon paws, wiggling his fingers for a, sorry, for a moment before putting them down on the keyboard. Everyone goes silent an instant, leaving only the crackling from the fireplace resonating in the room. Miku begins to play a piece, soft piano notes reverberating around the room. He strokes the keys gently, but with confidence. The three of us sit in silence. Not wanting to distract him, but also enchanted in the music. I don't think he could notice anything anyway, completely engrossed in playing. There's a genuine smile on his muzzle, and he closes his eyes from time to time, his tail swaying from side to side with the rhythm of the piece. It's like he's playing with his whole body, not just his paws. The music is delicate and calm, like a meadow brushed by a gentle autumn breeze. 
It makes me feel like I'm floating above the ground, or I'm being carried away by a gentle stream. Yeah, I could, I could feel that. It's touched something deep within me that I haven't felt for a long time. His paws move elegantly in wide swipes across the keys. It takes some effort, and he has, has to slow down some parts, but from the look on his snout, it's clear he's having a lot of fun. Looks really happy when he plays. Yeah, I remember that from the times we were in middle school together. He always looked generally happy. It was... He always looked generally happy was when he was playing an instrument. Right now, in his smile, I can see that the boy he was back then getting lost in music and forgetting about the world around him. Suddenly, I hear steps somewhere behind me. Turning around, I see Torolf entering the room, holding a banana's paw. He raises the other paw and greets us, but doesn't say anything. Instead, he walks up to the free armchair and sits down quietly, listening to Mika playing. His steps, incredible, steps feel incredibly delicate and balanced. I didn't notice it before, but he walks in a really elegant way. Meanwhile, Miko finishes playing the piece. What? That was really nice, Miko. Miko turns towards him, surprised. Hi, did we meet before? I believe not. Lake mentioned you in a conversation, though. I know you're Dark's friend. My name's Taruf. It's a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure for me as well. That was something, Miko. Really. Aw, thanks. Even if you're saying that it's only out of courtesy. I can't help but envy him. I myself struggled to play anything on the piano, and there wasn't any fun in it for me. Going back to certain things, I do remember trying to learn the piano for a while. I wanted to impress somebody that I had feelings for. Never worked out, but... And I don't remember shit. I didn't get far, but I tried. Tried for hours every couple of days-ish, or like a couple of months. Like, I would say maybe about like 24 hours worth, maybe probably less. I don't know. I could play some songs decently well, simple ones. Anyways, that's another thing. <clears throat> When I was listening to him play, I always felt inadequate. He started a bit earlier than me, and that was enough to discourage me. He used to tell me that pushing through the first phase of playing anything was a huge effort, but for me, it seemed like I would never get out of that phase. The truth is, I never apply myself, while Miko kept practicing and practicing. Now he's better than I will ever be. No, that really was great. Why did you learn to play like that? Well, we had music lessons in school, like everyone in Finland. We were playing mostly stringed and wind instruments, but we had the basics of piano too. I spent a lot of time playing the piano by myself after class. Oh, does that mean you can play too dark? Um, not really. I had music lessons as well, but I was never really good at it. Maybe you remember something from then, from them, th though. Maybe a few mel melodies. That's all. Would you like to play too? Oh, I don't know. I haven't played in a long time, and I was never good to begin with. Oh, come on. I'm sure you're better than you think. We won't make fun of you. Don't worry. He has worry written all over his face. I don't know if it's a good idea, Rune. Uh, <clears throat> try playing the piano? Oh, I thought we were near time, but uh, no, we got plenty of it. But let me just get some water first. And recalibrate myself. Well, I can try. No, well, I 
Well, I can try. I have no idea what I'm doing. Why, <clears throat> you know, it was so hard for me to fuse when others asked me politely. The excited look on Rune's face was too much for me. I just couldn't let him down. Even though I know in the end, I inevitably will. Oop. What's happening to your lower body, Ru Miko? There's nothing there. I think below the crotch area. Your hands. Miko stands up from the piano and moves to the closest armchair. I reluctantly walk over and sit down where he sat a second ago in front of the instrument. Quick time vent. Rest of my paws on the keyboard. I notice they're shaking. What should I play? I try to think of any track I, I was ever learning. Hmm. There is one that was fairly easy to play, and I think I remember it. I play the scale in which I think the track was composed, just to make sure that I remember correctly. I don't know why, among all the ones I tried to learn, this one track stuck with me. I haven't listened to it in a long while. Okay, I don't really know what I'm waiting for. That one sounds familiar. Not without some hesitation, I play the first note of the track, and then the sec the rest of the chord. Yep, that's what I was thinking it was. The way the keys feels surprisingly familiar, and the chord sounds nice and sweet. I forgot how nice it feels to play. I was never happy with my playing, but only now I remember I enjoy it. Enjoyed. <coughs> I still feel everyone's eyes on my back, though. Okay, focus. Just need to go through the piece and not make any obvious mistakes. Desynchronizing left and right paw is just as hard as I remember. People often don't realize that and think that playing slow piano pieces is easy, but that's definitely not true. Nope, oh, I'm finished. Nope, oh, just had to do one more note. Okay, that's all I remember. I turn around to face the rest, seeing them all look straight at me. See? That wasn't bad. Yeah, sure. Dark? Hey, I really mean it. Cheer up. You look like you're gonna cry. That was cool, Dark. Really gave me chills. I really love dig craft music. I'm glad you played that one. What is the hell is Dig craft. Oh, I saw that thing open. <clears throat> Is a great resource answer your Minecraft game questions with pictures step by step. 3D graphics class inspired by Minecraft. I wonder if that's what he's talking about. Bjorn. Miko gives him a disappointed look and shakes his head. Okay, that's quite funny. Oh, that it, it could be some kind of thing that sounds like, um... Oh, what's it called? Minecraft music. You know, it's like slow thing. What's wrong? It's not Dickcraft music. That's a masterpiece from the 19th century. Oh. I was sure that was... I was sure that was Norway from the soundtrack. Would fit the occasion. I haven't played that game in quite a while now, though. I always love the music from it. It invokes so many memories now. Though, he, it could uh, dig craft could also be Minecraft, but, you know, off-brand, you know? Glad to see the time spent teaching you did not go to waste, though, Dark. Oh, right. That's why this piece stuck with me. It was the one Miko t himself taught me. Frankly, I'm surprised even myself. Although, that wasn't the best performance of this piece, to put it lightly. And it's not like I remember much of it anyway. For someone who didn't play for a long time, that's really impressive, Dark. Okay, somehow he's become a lot less horny than he even initially was, and flirtatious. That's kind of weird. 
Maybe that was just his first thing. Who knows? You're really kind, all of you. I stand up from the piano and walk back to the sofa. My legs feeling wobbly under me, but I try to look calm and composed. I'm definitely going to need a cup of tea after this. I was thinking of maybe doing Wings of... Fuck. What was it called? Wings of Change? What is it called? Click. Wings... Yeah, Change. But um, I'm like, I don't think I even have a voice after this for uh, having the game talk for mostly me. I can't help but let a big sigh of relief when I sit back down, leaning forward and hiding my snouts in my open paws. Rune gets up and walks to me, patting me on the back reassuringly. You did well, Dark. You did well, Dark. Don't worry. By the way, Miko, your playing is really nice. Do you play often? Not really. I used to, but that was back in Finland. Here, I don't have a piano to practice on. I do have a synthesizer with a keyboard, but it's definitely not the same. Pianos have weighted keys with completely different feel and playing dynamics. I can't imagine performing under the other than a bat banch fugreon fugre synth. Why is that? Why is that, if I may ask? Those are written for organs, mostly, and the dynamics are completely different. You don't need a piano dynamic range, and so do you play those. I understand. So you play electronic music, too? He actually composes his own stuff, and he's quite good at it, though. He played uh, me some of the tracks earlier today. They're all good. Miko blushes in his words, at his words, putting a huge fluffy, putting his huge fluffy ears down. I'm glad that there's kind of also dynamics between the characters, you know. I mean, it could also be just, you know, non non platonic one, or it could be platonic ones, but. Still, I just kind of don't want to feel like I'm leading him on. Just kind of, I want to reconnect with a friend. Stuff. But then later I will jump, eh, get on that wolf thing. Anyways, <clears throat> unlike me, he never liked being in the spotlight, no matter what. I just like playing music, that's all. If you're good, if you're good at it, yeah, if you're good at it, you definitely should use your talent, though. You have a SoundLink account, SoundCloud, where I can listen to your tracks. I do have one, but I don't really upload anything there. It's at least not lately. Why? I mean, how is she going to get known? I don't really care about that. As I said, I just like playing music. The fur on Miko's neck is all bristled, and he even bears his fangs when he speaks. Ooh. Oh, that's not good. I rarely see Miku angry, but now it's clear that he's getting more and more annoyed. That's just wasting your talent. If there's something you can do well, you should find a way to monetize it. Or, at very least, share it with the world. Torov, you just told me not to pressure Dark into anything, and now you're saying to Dark, saying to Dark, you're trying to s talk to Miko into things he just told you he doesn't want to do. Torov looks at Rune, and then at Miko, and clearly taken aback. You're right. I'm sorry. Although I won't change my mind about it. I'm glad. I'd be glad if you expected my approach. And what I do. Thank you. Oh, that was definitely the most hateful thank you I've heard in a long time. Well, the atmosphere in the room is completely ruined. I glance at Bjorn, who is at le has at least been quiet for a while now. He's looking down at his paws, just playing with the cuffs of his hoodie, looking at as if he wishes he was anywhere but here, even though he has this happy smile on his face. Anyway, I really enjoyed listening to you play, Miko. I love the sound of the piano. I know it's a fairly common sentiment, but piano might be my favorite instrument. I feel like you're bullshitting. Um, 
Oh, no, wait. Okay, that's Rune. I thought that was me. That was this guy. It has such magical romantic quality to it. And who was talking before? Okay. I regret picking up the guitar into the piano a bit. Just a tiny bit. Yeah, he does seem like he would try the guitar at least. Actually, I wonder how does the piano relate to the guitar? If knowing how to play how to play one it helps with the other. Miku, can you play the guitar too? Just what I learned in primary school. It's been so long ago that there's no point even mentioning it. I remember playing one song. That was an easy one by Nat Natural Mino Hotel. I have no idea what they're referencing. I mean, maybe if I type it into Google, then I would be able to figure it out, but who knows. Oh yeah, of course. You mean in the at astro plane over the sea? Oh, please use some boards. That one exactly. Yeah. It's a classic. I don't think I've ever heard of it. Yeah, let's look at Fraser for a sec to give me a bit of break. Okay. It's not the kind of music you look for. It's the kind of music that finds you. Anyway, you won't be able to help me much then. I'm afraid not, unless you want me to teach you how to play the piano. Maybe someday. I have a bit too much of my paws lately. But thank you for the offer anyways. Would you mind playing some more, Miko? I don't remember the last time I heard someone play piano live. Actually, I don't think I've ever attended a piano concert. It feels different than listening to recordings. I can't really say what this is, actually, but it feels so much more alive and magical. Yeah, live stuff does uh, feel better. I, need a few, I know a few more pieces. And we have time. As you sat together, listening to Mika play, the day slowly turned into night. Leaning on Bjorn, uh, through the window, I observed the last minutes of the evening sun, painting the red sky orange. Red and orange. Soon after the clouds started to give way to clear, sm silky smooth sky, slowly fading to black. Soon, many things happened, to so many things happened today already. The afternoon's over, but the memories of it will stay with me forever. Uh, I'm not sure if this is him wrapping up the day, or if this is him, um, if this is going to be the stargazing event thing. God damn it, I want to play more of this game. I'm going to guess good tomorrow, but the only problem is, A, this is kind of my time where I just kind of hang out with people at night. B, I kind of want to open the vent so I can, uh, you know, cool the room off as much as I can. And three... It's kind of hard to play the game when you talk, you know, not just about stuff, but also read and your throat's being like, hey, this is the most we've been used for a long time. Like, seriously, kind of losing it here. So anyways, end of this Let's Play. So comment, because I like comments. Tell me what you like, dislike, tips, or always. If you like my YouTube and would like to see it grow, then please like, subscribe, and share other videos to help it grow. And please remember to spay your animals help control the pet population. And if you're interested in playing this game, and if you want to support the people, Patreon. And until next time, now let's play me. Game of 6 of Don Chorus. Thanks and see ya.